Okay, got the heat tapes. Had to install it so that uh, I want to make sure it stayed down. So I had to tape it and then hold the cock. I did the weave pattern and in the bottom because last year I had problems where it wasn't enough. So I did the weaves in the bottom like that. And then the wire in the top and the double run down to the uh oh, whatever you call it, the, the downspout. So anyway. And my fancy little brackets here. These are all custom made. See I made those. Because I need to have it stand off. You can see the fascia? It's got this weird double angle. Actually it's some fancy looking uh trim underneath it, which they cut off this ugly kind of looking uh metal. So oh well. But I did, it's uh, three times the length of the gutter and double run into the uh, downspout. And then I over drilled the holes going into the hangers so that it'll shift side to side. Okay, because we have expansion issues. And on the one corner, I didn't use a bracket, but the other one I did. So, and uh, this angle in here, I had to make sure I measured that each, um, because I noticed we had a sweep, we had a change, especially. Towards the end there, and I have an overhang that's out beyond the roof um, because coming down the side and the top is like that gingerbready kind of thing. So now I'm gonna have to run another gutter, another downspout to hook into that that this downspout. So it's enough flow, but I don't want to trip me on the porch in the future. Same as the other on the other side, but you can't see it here. In the valley here, I need to put the, the little diverter thing that sticks up like this to kind of it's kind of like a 90 degree angle because this is gonna overshoot the roof overshoot and if I put it out too far well then the drip edge won't catch inside so you know, see the drip edge there it won't catch and these I had to seal I also used fabric and uh, the neoprene sort of rubber elastomer gizmo because these were all the holes we had the stupid strap hangers and I used the sealant plus the fabric the fiberglass fabric so and so so I had to use little washers in because the angle wasn't quite right when I cut it so, you know, you're going to have that to some degree. But, uh, did pretty well for, for, uh, for a lot of the later ones. I got a good, really good measurement on it. So, yeah, and this is PVC plastic, so it won't rot. And then I used uh, the uh, Lifetime galvanized screws up inside. So, and those washers are all stainless, of course, because you don't want them to rust and look all nasty. And all the screws that I use for the downspout, they're all stainless. I paint, I put them all, screw them all into like a little piece of cardboard so the heads are sticking up about maybe a sixteenth eighth of an inch and then I spray painted them all with uh, Rust Oleum because the, uh, the ones you buy at the store, they fucking, sorry, excuse me, they uh, look like crap because uh, they rust in a year and they have a big the brown, uh, reddish brown nasty streak down I think, which sucks, so we don't want that.